So next question is there on your screen. Yes, again, so for this question, we will use the method that we learnt. Okay, so that is the sign method. So I'll just draw the diagram once again. So this is Bx, C. Just by heart this diagram or like somebody said it's very easy to uh, remember without the diagram also. Yes, if you are very uh, good at remembering, excellent, nothing like that. Plus, remember the sign, that's why I'm drawing it. Actually, you didn't draw it like this. I've just drawn it so that it's clear to all of you. Right? Now here, see, uh, the sign before Bx is negative and the sign before C is positive. So both the roots of this equation is going to be positive. Similarly, for this equation is also going to be positive. So that much you know. Now, let us look at this equation. See, uh, first equation, let's take 2x squared minus 6 root 2x plus 8 is equal to 0. So what is 8 into 2? Multiplying A and C. So 8 into 2 is equal to 16. So product of two numbers is 16 and their sum is equal to minus 6 root 2. Correct? Yes. See, actually for this question you can uh, do, uh, man, one second, you can actually do one more step here. Um, so you can actually simplify it further and then do. See, at times if you see the, let me just erase all the ink on this slide. Okay, if I erase then. See, in the given equation, right? 2 is common. So actually you can take out that 2 and simplify it further and then solve. If you do it that way, uh, you reduce on uh, this steps, right? See, now if you actually take out the 2 here, right? You take out a 2, you will get x squared minus 3 root 2 x plus 4 is equal to 0. So you can calculate faster. That's what I wanted to tell you. So here what is happening? See, there is no uh, coefficient before a. So it makes our life easier, correct? So you have a number whose uh, product is 4, I mean you have two numbers whose product is 4 and their sum is equal to minus 3 root 2. So what can be the two uh, numbers whose sum is minus 3 root 2, product is 4. So the two numbers will have to be 2 root 2 and root 2. Correct? See if you have 2 root 2 and root 2, when you add these two, you get 3 root 2. When you multiply these two, you get 4. Correct? So that you know. Now just look at the sign. So uh, again here you see uh, for this particular equation that we have taken, the coefficient of a is 1. I mean the coefficient of x squared is 1 or the value of a is 1. So actually you need not divide this, you have to just divide it by 1. Correct? Uh, I hope you remember in the previous cases if the coefficient was x squared was something other than 1, we divided the answer that we got by that coefficient. Since here it is 1, you need not do anything, you can take it directly. So you have 2 root 2 and root 2. Correct? These are your uh, two roots and both of them are going to be positive. Correct? Using this you know. See, uh, as I said, the best way thing with this method is that uh, otherwise what will we do? We will split this and write it here. Correct? See, how am I going to write it? Actually, I will write it as x squared minus 2 root 2x minus uh, root 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. Take out the factor. This steps we can avoid. Okay? Now, let us look at the next one. Next one was 2y squared minus 7 root 2y plus 12 is equal to 0. So, as I said, just remember this table. So, in this table, if you see that, see there is minus and plus. Okay. Now, the sign before Bx here is minus and the sign before C here is plus. So, minus and plus. So, if uh, Bx, sign before Bx is minus and sign before C is plus, the smaller root is going to be positive and the bigger root is also going to be positive. Okay. I have just applied that here. So, what do you get? Just keep that in mind. So here you have 2y square minus 7 root 2y plus 12 is equal to 0. What is the product of a and c? It is 24. So you have two numbers whose product is 24 and their sum is going to be minus 7 root 2. So what can be the two numbers? See the two numbers can be uh, 4, 3s are 12, 12, 2s are 24. Correct? So the two numbers has to be uh, 4 root 2 and 3 root 2. Correct? See 4 root 2 and 3 root 2. When I add these two, I get 7 root 2. When I multiply these two, I get 24. That's all you need to know. Okay. This sign and all we can forget for now because we already know that whenever uh, this is the form of the equation that is bx is minus and c is plus, both the roots are going to be plus. Now here, remember this x squared, right? x squared term here, the square term has a coefficient 2. So divide the answer that you get by 2. So what do you get? You get 2 root 2 and 3 root 2 by 2. 
and both are positive okay this is going to be your final roots so the answer for this question is see this this roots you have got 2 root 2 and plus root 2 this is going to be 2 root 2 and 3 root 2 by 2 so we can say that uh, no relationship can be established because you get different cases correct see in this case if these are the roots both are equal if you are comparing these two roots this is bigger correct similarly if you are comparing this root and this one this is bigger so relationship cannot be established.